hello friends in this video we will install all those interesting mods from alliance rom onto our stock firmware that is samsung galaxy s2 phone running android 4.1.2 jelly bean firmware so let's see how we can do this actually we are uh, installing mods from alliance rom we are not installing the rom itself so we will still be on the stock firmware after installing the mods so before proceeding ahead let's check out the requirement your phone must be running android 4.1.2 the baseband version must be i9 xx ls8 and the build number must also contains i9 xw ls8 okay so this is the firmware requirement for this particular video tutorial and so your phone must also have CWM recovery mode installed as well as root access so to get root access along with CWM you should follow our guide and the link of that particular guide is given in the description section of this video so I'm gonna reboot this phone I have already copied that particular mod package onto the external SD card and now I'm gonna reboot this phone into the recovery mode Now the features of this particular mod, that is the Alliance mods as we call it, there are lots of features in this particular mod that will enable our Galaxy S2, that will just change our Galaxy S2 phone drastically in a very appreciable, in a very remarkable way. And you will appreciate this particular mod once you install it. So let us just volume up key and home button and here power button together to boot into the recovery console now as you can see I have filled touch 4 with CWM based version 6.0.2.7 so this is the recovery mode that I have on my phone and I would rather suggest you to follow the link given in the description section of this video to get this particular recovery mode onto your stock Android J11 firmware. So now I have to choose install zip option and I have to choose, choose zip from the SD card. I have already copied that particular Alliance mod package. Here you can see I have Alliance mod underscore LS8 underscore V1 underscore AOSP theme. So we, uh, dot zips that's dot zip so i have to choose this particular package and i have to install it just choose yes install sorry again install zip choose zip from sd card lens mode yes install so the installation process has started let's after the phone reboots after the installation completes we'll see what new features we get via this particular mod so it says install from SD card complete so let's go back and let's just reboot system now so the phone when it starts for the first time after installing this particular mod package lens mod package it will just optimize all your apps the time depends upon the number of installed apps on your phone so finally we are on the lock screen cool you can see the ripple effect now I already had ripple effect but now you can see the colored ripple effect you can see it's really cool it's great it looks very appealing wow isn't it so let's check out the dialer this is the new UI I have flashed this mod with the new UI and this is not a stock theme rather this is AOSP theme DUI so the dialer looks cool here we have the con locks call locks 
the contacts this really looks cool now the home screen is as usual you can see the color of this has also changed so let's check out all the new settings now one remarkable difference here is the font size here you can see everything looks more neat here the UI I think the DPI setting has changed and you can see we have the new setting look so the text looks more crisp now sorry uh, so the text looks more crisp now you can see here the new setting UI the scrolling edge good and here we have this particular new option that is alliance room alliance control now here we can customize a lot of things i recommend never to go for alliance ota over the air this particular update never install updates via alliance ota onto the stock android firmware that is uh, on this phone i have been running a stock android firmware xwls8 and i should never go for this particular option over the air update of this alliance room okay alliance mod now under rom customizer let's see what are the options that we get as i had already told you you need root access let's grant it A special feature of this particular mod is that you can just hold on back button here for longer time and the application the current running application will just exit you won't go back it will just exit it will just close the current running application if you hold down the back button for longer duration so that's a cool feature let's check out other features no, let's check out lens control here customize settings lock screen mods now from here we can select lock screen type galaxy s3 ripple that is that will enable the ripple effect we can even get the latest blackberry 10 that has been released that particular that kind of lock screen let's see what blackberry 10 is what kind of lock screen is it so this is the blackberry 10 lock screen you can see it's a blank lock screen it just displays the time date and the current status of the phone that is the charging state oh so this way the blackberry lock screen works you can see this way it unlocks it's cool isn't it let's check out other features under lock screen select the lock screen type then we have the jelly bean lock screen let's see what it is okay so that's the default stock android jelly bean lock screen type you can just swipe to any of these particular shortcuts and we can just land directly onto that particular app so let's check out other sorry here alliance control custom settings lock screen mods and let's select galaxy s3 ripple and we'll get ripple effect on the lock screen you can see the ripple effect it's really cool color is flashing on the water then we have the ui mods here clock options so there are lots of options you can just after installing this particular mod you can just uh, play with all these options enable or disable lock options here on this toggle button here 
you can add more toggle buttons here on the notification bar or you can disable a particular option from there you can even change the color so tons of extens uh, extensive options will just like everything you can even get currently you can see brightness slider you off you can just enable brightness slider and then you will get brightness slider as well you can even toggle the color under general modes disable edge zoom low battery pop up you can even disable the low battery pop up that comes up up on your screen whenever your phone is sort of battery you can even enable usb connection so these are general mods here these are the ui mods here and these are the lock screen mods we also have the multi window that's right under display settings here multi window you can enable and disable it now how to use multi window this way we can use multi window you can see here all our apps are here if we want to work with file explorer let's launch file ex sorry uh, so let's launch let's just drag the file explorer and just leave it at a suitable position you can see in the current window now as I just did this it didn't actually went into multi window position so let's try this with any other app say google chrome so you can see certain apps don't support multi window mode but google chrome does support so now we can work with two browsers at once via this multi window feature You can see I'm launching my website ecotv.com in the stock Android browser and I'm launching youtube.com slash take rear onto the Google Chrome browser. So you can see it. this is great the multi window effect. If it, what's this okay this is for easy swapping this button here and this button this button for full view so you can see this is the working demo of multi window onto your galaxy ht phone so this room this particular mod really brings those exclusive those exciting features right onto your galaxy s2 phone and make your phone much more meaningful much more useful much more productive so i must recommend you go ahead and give this mod a try now in the we also get four way recovery mode here sorry four way reward mode here So after changing these colors and after changing the settings of this particular mod, after applying certain settings, you might be required to reboot to see the change in effect.
so here we also get few extra apps here we have advanced is apps torch apps pop-up browser and Chrome customizer let's check advanced is was this so this is just nothing special let's check torch we can use flashlight you can see here flashlight using this torch app and we have the pop-up browser so basically this is like a pop-up video player you can just browse to any website here in this pop-up browser while you use any other app so this is cool and then we have room customizer so we just land directly into the room settings so that's it thank you for watching this video for more videos keep watching takeotv.com